هاي هيثم هلو سير هلو سير هاي باي ذا واي ويلكم تو اور ايديوكيشنال انستيتيوشن ذا نيدرلاندز ايديوكيشن جروب وي ار جوين تو تيك ان انترفيو ويز ايتش اوثر ان ذا توبيك اوف ذا سكولارشيب اند ذا ستدي ابراود Uh, we can say in a general way uh, that scholarship abroad uh, represents a motivating prospect for anyone. Uh, yeah. In addition, uh, I know that you got a scholarship in the past and uh, you have studied it abroad, isn't, it, isn't that? Yeah, that's right. Uh, in this regard, I'm going to ask you uh, a bunch of questions. Uh, in order to clarify this matter, okay? Uh, so uh, introduce yourself. First of all, uh, my name is Haysam Ghazi. I'm from Egypt and I am 27 years old. I have graduated from the Faculty of Commerce through Canada University uh, and I have a bachelor's degree Uh, of commerce in accounting. So after my graduation, I uh, uh, I joined uh, a company here in Egypt and worked as a financial accountant for three years. Then I applied for a scholarship in Russia. After two days, after I sent them uh, my email, They uh, respond me uh, and told me to send them some paper and some other documents. Uh, sorry, sorry, Haytham. Uh, sorry, Haytham. Okay, uh, but I uh, I will ask you uh, step by step. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, uh, what you stated before applying for the scholarship? Uh, I mean your uh, university degree. Yeah. Uh... I studied a bachelor's degree uh, of commerce in accounting. Uh, about scholarship, uh, uh, how do you find uh, information uh, about scholarship? Actually, to be honest, by chance, uh, when I was searching uh, uh, the YouTube, I found uh, someone who, were, who was talking about uh, some scholarships So uh, I was so interested to get uh, a, a, a full scholarship to get uh, or to continue my studies, my master degree abroad, because I I was very very interesting to uh, and to complete my studies abroad, especially uh, in Europe. So when I uh, saw uh, the one who were, who was talking about scholarship. I was very excited and I uh, uh, I applied for the scholarship that he was talking about. He was talking about a scholarship in Russia, especially in a university called Raniba. It's a very famous university there in Russia. Uh, so uh, when I saw that opportunity, I was excited and I applied for it uh, at once. Uh, so, uh, in general, uh, what are the ways uh, uh, to search for information uh, uh, in general? Uh, I think uh, on uh, surfing on the internet about uh, about scholarships, uh, you can write uh, scholarships uh, in any country you want. Uh, it will be uh, it will appear some uh, opportunities for scholarships around. The world, so you can uh, uh, take it step by step to get there. Oh, okay, good, good. Uh, so um, I will ask you, uh, how did you prepare the application? Uh, uh, what did the application include? Uh, I mean, um, uh, following the steps uh, for preparing the application, the content of application. Inter uh, interesting me. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to be honest, it was it, it was uh, uh, some different from uh, the normal because uh, 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 in normal uh, there is uh, a form you should uh, complete it to apply for a scholarship. But uh, especially this scholarship, that scholarship that I was applying for, uh, as I said before, in Russia in a university called Ranipa, it was uh, by email. You should send them email with some documents uh, like uh, your passport and uh, uh, your graduation uh, certificate and transcript uh, and medical medical certificate. You must collect the, these uh, documents, then send them uh, to them by email, and then they respond you uh, 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 to 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 give you uh, to give you. Uh, their response about uh, acceptance or refusing your uh, 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 your offer. Okay. Uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. It was uh, uh, continuing uh, by this way. Ah, uh -huh. well, well. Uh, um, how uh, how is your stu uh, st your study going uh, in a new country? Uh, I mean. What was difficult? What was easy? Do you understand me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, it was uh, the first time uh, I go abroad. Uh, I didn't, I didn't go abroad before. So uh, it was. Uh, I, I faced, uh, I faced some uh, difficult. To be honest, the first thing I, I, I faced uh, the weather. Uh, uh, if you know here in Egypt, uh, I live in Egypt. Uh, the weather in Egypt is very good, very good. It's not cold and it's not hot. It's moderate. But in Russia, the weather is very, very, very cold, especially in winter. So that was the first thing uh, or uh, the first difficult uh, I faced. Then uh, uh, another thing I faced. Uh, the culture, the Russian culture, the culture. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, is very different from our culture. But uh, <laughs> uh, I, 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 I was very, very pleased to know uh, another culture, except my, my, my uh, culture here in my country. So uh, I adapt with their culture quickly. So that was uh, difficult uh, at first, but uh, uh, next it will be good for me. Uh, the third thing I will uh, say, uh, the method of the study. The method of the study in Russia is very different uh, to here in Egypt. It depends on uh, the, the student who collect the information. Mm -hmm. Discuss the information with the professor. Here in Egypt, we do uh, uh, the opposite. Here in Egypt, mm -hmm. a professor gives the information to the student, and uh, it makes it ready and easy for the student to study. But there in Russia, a student who must collect and search for the information, then uh, uh, collect the information and discuss the information with the professor in class. So that was very uh, different uh, for my method or for my way to study here in Egypt, to study there in Russia. So, uh, uh, but, but system of education is uh, very good. Uh, uh -huh. All right. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very, very good. But but I, 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 I think it's... Uh, uh, it will be difficult for anyone who uh, go abroad for the first time, and uh, her, his, his system, her, his educational system, is different to the Russian educational system. It will be difficult for him uh, uh, at first, but uh, uh, week and week, week and week, it will be uh, good, and he will improve himself in education. Well, uh, concerning uh, the language, uh, communication. 
uh, to be honest, uh, uh, my master degree was uh, in English, mm -hmm. not in Russian. <laughs> when I uh, when I go uh, when I uh, uh, went abroad, I didn't know uh, uh, except one or two words, uh, Russian words. Спасибо, хорошо, just these two words. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, but uh, fortunately, fortunately in Moscow. There are a lot of people who can talk English uh, uh -huh. in Moscow and in St. Petersburg, but in another uh, in other uh, uh, cities, uh, it will be very, very, very difficult for you to talk uh, in English with any Russian people because they only speak Russian, not speak in English. Uh, and uh, uh, in the university. Uh, you speak English uh, fluently, perfectly yeah. in the music. Uh, I speak, uh, sorry, sorry, I speak English what? Uh, what about communication in the university with professors and, uh, and so on? Uh, as I said before, uh, my master's degree is in English. So I can communicate with my professors and the other students uh, in English. But what? Uh, they know English and Russian. So when they speak Russian with each other, I, I, I couldn't understand anything. So that <laughs> another difficult for me. Another uh, and, for me. Another bad feeling. <laughs> uh, and, and the professors, because you know you are Arab, uh, me, uh, Arab, uh, uh, they, uh, the people, the people, they accustom at your accent do you understand me? Uh, accent in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 some of them, some of them, their accent uh, is different from my accent. They speak uh, in American accent, and I was taught in British accent. So there are some difference between the two accents. But uh, uh, by the way, it's okay. It's okay. It's not a problem for me. But my professors can speak English well, so I can understand them well. But I, I, I talk about uh, my, uh, my, uh, the students. I'm sorry. Well, uh, um, I'm going to ask you uh, a question about uh, uh, what recommendations you can give us uh, concerning person uh, who has the will to study abroad? Uh, actually, I am, I am very excited to study uh, abroad, uh, especially in Europe. As I said before, I studied in Russia, and it has uh, its uh, educational system, okay? Mm -hmm. But I think uh, Europe in Europe, or in Euro European countries, they are very, very, very good in educational system. And I, I am very excited to learn about the European uh, culture and the educational system. So that's what is that, that that was my desire. Desire to go to Europe and study or complete my master degree there. Uh, uh, on the other hand. I am very interested to complete my master's degree in finance because, as I said before, I was working as a financial accountant in a company here called Reward Street, in the Reward Company. Okay, so I I I'd like to improve my prospect uh, uh, knowledge and career. So it will be a very good opportunity for me to complete my studies there in Europe. So I am very grateful for you if you could support me with uh, this opportunity and to get a full scholarship to go and study there in uh, a European country. Mm -hmm. uh, Haytham, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, consideration. Uh, welcome to our uh, educational institution, uh, the Netherlands Education Group. Okay, yeah. and uh, see you soon. 
Okay, okay. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye.